Hey everybody, this is my 55 gallon tank and in a way we are going to do a before and after video today but I didn't plan on doing a before and after video today so we're going to start with the after and then we're going to have a look at screen cap from the other night but I'll explain as we move forward here. So you can clearly see the top part of the tank has what looks like bubbles and stuff all over it. That's not really bubbles. All of that white gray cloudy looking stuff that is all dead algae and mostly especially in this area right in here is all uh, dead cyanobacteria this little chunk through here this darker section was still somewhat alive as of Sunday night's live stream but on Friday all of that looked really really nasty and when I got in there, I was doing a water change. I took the water level all the way down to, well, you can see where I took it down to right there. And then while it was low, I sprayed it with some regular old 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. It's important to remember there are different uh, strengths of the hydrogen peroxide. What you would typically get for household use is 3% solution. It's mostly water. Hydrogen peroxide is a very, very powerful chemical, and so it only needs a little tiny bit even in that, and then you only need a little bit of this in the tank. I'm not going to get into dosages and details. I'm not worried about trying to teach people how to use it. I just wanted to show people a little bit about what the effect can be when used properly. So again, I did not have an opportunity to get in there and really get some good solid pictures or video of what it looked like beforehand but I did have the top of the tank open and we were looking in there and I will show you what this end of the tank looked like as of Friday night when we were doing the water change and you can see it's really really a big difference than what we're looking at right now and then if we move over here and we look right into the back of the tank you'll notice that big clump that I was pointing at a few moments ago is a really big nasty thick patch of that red slimy cyanobacteria and you can see what that started out as and you can see what it looks like now so that's gone through a huge transformation as well you can see how all that stuff back there is just sort of dying off and then if we move over here and we look down the length of the tank a little bit and we look along the spray bar and along the back wall you can see there's still some bright red and some bright green I didn't kill off everything I didn't intend to but I actually killed off a lot more than I expected to so let's look at that before I got in there and sprayed and you can see as everywhere else it's just nasty and there's gross slimy growth all over everything and I simply sprayed that with the hydrogen peroxide and it now looks like this so again big big difference and the main reason I do it that way, as I was explaining the other night in my live stream, if you're not familiar with my live streams, you should check them out every Friday night. I do an action live stream, and that's where we actually got in this tank and we did all that work. I got in there and used the hydrogen peroxide and everything during the live stream. We also did some work in some other tanks. Uh, but that's Friday's live stream, and then Sunday's live stream, we do a Q&A where I sit in front of the camera. A lot of times I might get up and do some work depending on how the flow for the evening is going, whether people are chatty or have a lot of questions. Sunday night's a little bit malleable, uh, but Friday night we try to do some action live streaming, which is where we got in and did all this. And then Sunday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we do a Q&A. So if you got any questions for me, if you have any problems in your tank or anything like that, you can check those out. I leave them up for a week or two, so if you missed them, you can always go back and rewatch them. You can watch them piece by piece, a few minutes here, a few minutes there. Uh, there's usually a lot of good information packed into those live streams. Uh, you just got to search around for it a little bit. It's kind of random hit or miss, but it's in there. Trust me. So there you go. That's what it looks like now. And as I was beginning to say a few moments ago, the reason I do it this way is because if you get in there and scrape all of that loose, it's just you're putting it in the tank and you're spreading it around. You're also doing what I like to refer to as making it angry. Uh, when in fact what you're doing when you break it and you disturb it, uh, it goes into sort of uh, emergency reproduction mode because it's being damaged and destroyed. And so it starts 
hyper reproducing and so wiping away sometimes algae will have that impact if you wipe algae off of stuff I did it in this tank recently and now you can see we have green fur over everything in the tank and that's just that hair algae growing over everything in the tank now uh, because I wiped it off the glass with a razor blade rather than trying to do it with something a little more um, subtle a little more gentle and that's exactly the point of this if I were to get in there and scrape all that off of there if I was to get in there with a cloth and wipe it off you're just smearing it around, you're, you're, you're putting it in the tank, you're breaking it up, you're causing it to go into hyperactive reproduction mode, etc. When you just spray it with the hydrogen peroxide, you're just killing the surface level stuff. And if you spray it enough and you let it soak long enough and you wait and you spray it again, again, uh, you know, if you know how to use it properly and you treat it properly, uh, you can do so safely and you can do so with great effect. The issues run into when you try to clean up underwater and there's not a lot you can do down there other than get in there and wipe that stuff out or do a really, really big water change. So maybe next water change, I'll see if I can take it low enough and we'll get in there and we'll spray this big uh, area in there and see if we can get some of this crud uh, out of there as well. Not hurting anything. And honestly, I don't even think that's particularly unsightly. It looks a lot better than uh, glass, or if I didn't have something hanging behind it and you could see through it, you'd see wood paneling uh, or something like that. So I'd much rather see something that looks like that than wood paneling. So there you go, everybody. A little longer video than I expected to make out of this one, but what do you expect with me? There you go. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you ring that bell so you won't miss any notifications. And of course, you don't want to miss my live streams on Friday nights and Sunday nights at 8 p.m. They're usually a good time. So thanks for watching this one, and I will see you real soon on the next one.